morning everyone, Katherine Keller here, and I gotta tell you that this one, this one still gets to me. This is one that um, I think a lot of us struggle with, and, and men, it's for you as well, but since I am a woman and since I am a mother, I can completely relate on that level. And I know for a fact, for a lot of us as women, as mothers, that we uh, struggle with this one more than anything else. And I will tell you that this not accomplishing this challenge in my life has brought me to deeper pits than anything else you can ever imagine. And it's, it's not over. I'm still working on it. I'm going to confess to you before I even preach to you. I'm going to confess to you that this is one that I have come a long, long, long way with. Um, but it's still something I think that as humans we all struggle with. And it's just, um, it's something that as, like I said, as women we struggle with as well. It's to know yourself more than, or to you yourself, I'm so sorry, you yourself more than anyone else in the universe, deserve your love and affection. Good Lord. Um, where to start on that? You yourself, more than anyone else in the universe, deserve your love and affection. And I think that we can say we have self-confidence. We could say we love ourselves. We could say that we are very happy with the person that we are. But there is so much underneath sometimes that we don't even recognize how hard we are on ourselves. I know for me, um, my kids, I, I love my kids. I put my kids well above most people, but I can't honestly say that I always put myself before them. That is something innate as a mother, you put your kids first. And so this isn't necessarily referring to physically, you know, my grandma, my mom, myself, we all make dinner for our family and we are always the last ones to eat and I think that is that way for a lot of women and a lot of mothers or maybe if you're a single dad or even a married dad maybe that's you as well that you you know you let the kids you get them settled in you let them eat you let your spouse eat you let your friends eat and then you sit down and so I've always laughed about that because you know my grandma was the one slaving over the stove for the last two hours and by the time she finally got to sit down she got what was ever left and how cruel is that world that, that that's what we live in, but that's not necessarily what I'm talking about. I'm talking about putting yourself first as far as loving yourself first, filling yourself up first, getting yourself on a mental level where you are absolutely 100% in love with the person that you are, with the mistakes that you've made, with the body that you have, with the voice that you have, with the lack of talent or the talent that you have. Get to a place where you are loving that person that you are because you are unique. You have your own journey. You've heard this a thousand times. You can buy any self-help book and they're going to tell you that you are a unique person. But until you really internalize that and accept that, we're going to continue to look for outward things to make us feel like we're the most important thing in the universe. And I am telling you right now, I'm telling you, I know this for sure, that until you yourself get to a place where you are enamorated, where you are just absolutely in love with yourself, no one is ever going to make you happy. Nothing is ever going to make you happy. And so that is what is wanted, um, whether you're a religious person, whether you believe in just the universe or karma, whatever it may be, all of the above, I promise you, want you to love yourself. Fill yourself up first. So I think I've harped on that one enough for myself for a lifetime, but I promise you it's still something that I am working on every single day. I think all of us need to work on that. So I look forward to talking with you guys tomorrow and having a little more inspiration for you.